John, I was speaking to our mutual friend, your uh, mutual historian, Michael Beschloss, earlier tonight uh, about something he posted in the middle of the night about the history of the East Room, the solemn occasions mm -hmm. it has hosted, uh, those who have laid in repose in the East Room, because it was the scene of such darkness last night, an event by this president using authorities he does not have to uh, label the outcome of an election by the people that is, as of the time of our conversation right now, yet undetermined. Yeah. Well, Michael is in many ways the Michelangelo of, of all sorts of stuff, but he's certainly the Michelangelo of Twitter uh, in terms Indeed. of uh, uh, reminding us of what uh, what matters and, and what uh, Mark Twain's point about history may not repeat itself, but it does it does rhyme. Uh, you know, it was what, two thirty in the morning uh, to two thirty. Uh, and what we saw was a self-evident attempt to thwart the will of the people. And we we could go on about that, but sometimes, you know, one sentence does it. That's what the president uh, wants to do. He wants to have counts in votes, uh, counts in states where he's ahead. He wants to, uh, or where he's behind. He wants to stop him where he's ahead. You know, uh, Thomas Paine, you know, called that vital pamphlet in 1776, uh, which was a key factor in America declaring independence, common sense, by which he meant we're capable of assessing a situation and understanding the truth of it. And the truth of it is the president wants to manipulate this election because however, maybe it's closer than, than uh, polls or expectations, but that doesn't change the reality that Vice President Biden seems to be ahead. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.